Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will show you guys how to install Android Revolution HD ROM on your HTC One. Now this ROM is based off of the official version of the HTC Sense 5.0 running on Android 4.3. So you will get the HTC Sense 5.0 and all its features as well as Android 4.3. So what exactly are you getting by flashing this ROM? As is the case with most custom ROMs, you will get speed and performance enhancements. Your phone will be fast, clean and stable. I will be using an AT&T version of the HTC One in this video today. Now this um, ROM will work with all international versions and all US carriers, AT&T, Verizon, whatever except for Sprint. Now first and foremost you have to unlock the boot loader of your device, have a custom recovery installed and have a rooted phone. So before you race ahead, watch my video that details step by step in crystal clear instructions on how to root and unlock your HTC One. I'm going to put a link in the description below and you can go watch that video. Now after you're done Installing a custom ROM is a piece of cake. If you already have an unlocked and rooted phone, let's dive right in. Okay, so this is an optional step for you guys that want to create a backup before you proceed. So I'm going to show you how to make a full Nandroid backup of your entire system. So if anything goes wrong, you can restore whatever you see right here. So I'm going to, I'm going to back up this whole thing with all the apps, all the... Um, text messages, all the photos, all the videos in this phone on this hard drive right here. Okay, so I'm using a micro USB OTG cable which allows me to connect a USB flash drive as an external storage to my phone. So I actually have a link to a video that explains this whole process so you can go watch that to learn a little more. So what I want you to do for backup is power off this phone and we're gonna go into the custom recovery okay so to go into custom recovery you have to press volume down and power at the same time and then you see the uh, boot loader screen and from here navigate to recovery using the volume up and down keys and then press power and that's going to take you into custom recovery okay so I'm using the TWRP recovery but it's the same for every other recovery the basic thing you want to do is you want to look for a backup button now let's go to backup and what you need to do is you need to make sure at the bottom here it's saying internal storage in fact let me zoom in it says internal storage you want to make sure that goes to you tap on that and then you get this menu and then you choose USB OTG okay and as you can see my USB OTG cable was recognized and it tells me how much free space I have and then you click OK so no, now the backup will in fact go into this cable right here so let me do a swipe to backup okay and this is for TWRP if you're using clockwork mod recovery you again you do you have to mount this guy before you can back it up and the, this is the mounting process here you tap this and you che choose which storage you're gonna use so I mounted the the flash drive to my phone press OK and do a swipe to backup again this is an optional step so you can skip this step if you don't want to create a backup and I'll be back once the backup is complete. So once your backup is complete, it's going to say successful on the top, and that means you're good to go. Again, if you want to learn how to use a micro USB OTG cable with a USB flash drive to create backups, uh, go watch that video that's going to be in the recommended watch section on the post on my website. And um, so what you want to do now is you want to reboot the system and go back into the standard Android operating system. 
Okay, so once you're locked back in, you can actually remove this now, put it aside, and what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and connect your uh, phone to your computer. Once you connect your phone to your computer, I'm going to switch over to your computer. Make sure your phone is actually open while you're doing all that stuff. So we're going to transfer some files over to the phone. Okay, so there's a link in the description of this video that takes you to this uh, web page on my website. So this is just supplemental information for the YouTube video on how to install Android Revolution HD. Okay, so this is the required task you have to do. Like I said, if you already have it done, you can skip to resources. At the resources, I want you to click Android Revolution HD ROM. It is going to take you to the forum of XDA developers, and here is the download link. Now, this is what it looks like. That's HTC Sense 5.0. It's running on Android 4.3. Now, there's a lot going down here. What I want you to do is I want you to scroll down to downloads and just download Android Revolution HD 21.0. And if you're watching this video a couple months down the road, I'm sure the maker of this ROM upgrades frequently. So you may see a little different number. Just uh, go for the one that has the HTC Sense that is based on Android. Okay? And there's a lot of information here regarding the ROM itself. So if you have any questions, they're probably answered here somewhere. So scroll down to Downloads and click Android Revolution HD 21.0 that is going to take you to download links here you can actually examine the links carefully and you can see what's what so this is based on Android 4.3 okay that's the one on the bottom and that's based on Android 4.2.2 and then he also has Android Revolution HD based on the Google edition but this is the one we want today so click that and the download will start right away. All right, so make sure that your phone is connected to your computer. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the phone. So go to my computer, and here's my HTC One, and navigate to the internal storage. Okay, and then go to the file that you downloaded, the Android Revolution HD. So I have it just saved in my folder here. Go inside and take this whole zip file and copy and paste it to the internal storage of your uh, HTC One. And once the copy process is complete, you can actually exit your computer and detach your HTC One from the computer. We are done with the computer. So let's switch over to our HTC One and finish the installation process. Okay, so as you can see, I have disconnected my phone from the computer, and let's power this off and go into the custom recovery to complete the installation process. Okay, and then power and volume down at the same time. And then make sure you go to recovery and select power. Now, anytime before you install any custom ROM, you have to wipe your device clean. So, go to wipe, and make sure you go to, with TWRP, what I like to do is I like to go to advanced wipe, and I like to clean the Dalvik cache, the cache, the data, and the system. Okay? And that guarantees that everything will be gone. With a clockwork mod recovery, you can do a factory reset option and then you have to do a clear cache option so let's uh after you pick all these three guys just do a swipe to wipe it's a fairly quick process and i'm not even worried about doing this because i already have a backup okay so if anything goes wrong i can go and restore everything i just recently backed up anyway so once this is done go back go back again and now go to install okay and then this is the internal storage of your phone all the way at the bottom 
we have the Android Revolution HD zip file right there. So you want to tap on that and all you want to do is you want to do a swipe to confirm flash. Again, clockwork mod recovery is almost the same. Okay. So when you're doing this guy, there's another installer that is going to pop up. So let's follow the prompts one by one. So let's go next. Agree to the terms. Click next. Click next. And it's asking you, do you want to wipe user data? Okay. Just um, go ahead and do that anyway. So again, we're clearing everything. So make sure you actually pick this option right here. Okay. Wipe the user data partition. Click next. And then pick the phone that you have. So I have an HTC one. And AT&T version okay and if you had any any other one of those if you had an HTC one for Canada this is what you would pick right here so this is the one I'm gonna pick click next okay and then which Google applications do you want to install just pick them all I don't actually need Google talkback so I'm just gonna keep it as it is so click next and then custom applications that you want to be installed I'm just going to uncheck these. I don't want Dropbox yet. I'll do it by myself automatically later. So untick, 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 untick. Click next. Okay, and these these are the tweaks you can pick up for this ROM. And I'm going to actually skip all these guys. You can add these later. Okay, and then I'm going to do the Sense 5 toolbox. It does offer some enhancements. So click next. Okay, and then you're ready to begin the installation. Install now. Oops. There we go. So the installation process starts. Should be a fairly quick process. Okay, so once the process is complete, it's going to say, New ROM flashed successfully. Okay. So let's um, click Next. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click Finish. And that's going to reboot the system. It's going to actually go back to TWRP or clock, Clockwork Mod Recovery. So swipe to unlock and simply tap Reboot System. And let's see what we get. And because this is the first time it is loading up, it may take a little extra minutes there. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so after a couple minutes, we are back in the uh, setup screen of the HTC One, which is going to look like the first day when you bought the device. So let's uh, click Start. Uh, let's just do a Next on this one. Click Next. Skip everything. Next. Next. Agree. Next, give your phone a name, tap finish, and there you go. That's your HTC Sense interface. And I just want to let you know right away, it is much faster than the original HTC Sense. And that's because it's been tweaked, it's been optimized, so it's fast and it's very, very stable. Okay, so um, let's take a look at the settings here. Go to settings, all the way at the bottom, go to about. And if you tap software, you'll see Android 4.3, HTC Sense 5.0. And that's exactly what we want. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google Plus, Facebook and Twitter for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.